This is war filmed by those involved. Pictures purport to show evidence of war crimes committed by government forces. The execution of three tied up Tamil prisoners, including at least one woman. This footage shows the naked corpses of women who appear to have been sexually abused. And some sequences are filmed as trophies of war. These appear to be dead Tamil tiger child soldiers. Here soldiers sound triumphant as they load naked corpses onto a truck. The United Nations former ambassador for Sri Lanka says the government's denial of involvement is a lie. This has been the consistent uh, position of the government, but mind you, they also said that they were not using heavy weapons during the war. And at the end of the war, they said their forces were not responsible for any war crimes whatsoever. And nor were they responsible for killing a single civilian. So they have consistently held to what is clearly an absurd position. And it only becomes more untenable the longer the lapses between the end of the war and now when we see this evidence emerging. Much of the footage is filmed by Tamil civilians, herded into so-called no-fire zones, then allegedly fired upon en masse. This footage could be used as evidence of the systematic shelling of hospitals by government forces. <laughs> Tamil Tiger rebels are also implicated in some of the film. This is claimed to be the aftermath of an attack by a female suicide bomber on a government centre for people trying to flee the violence. The government of President Mahinda Rajapaksa says the video material is fabricated. If you look through the reports of those so-called experts and uh, analyse them carefully as I have done, it is actually very, very upsetting that no one in the so-called international community looks at our analysis of these videos. They simply dismiss any analysis done by Sri Lankans as being Sri Lankan. The UN estimates tens of thousands died, mostly civilians, in the final weeks of the near 30-year civil war. Secretary General Ban Ki-moon has so far resisted pressure to order an investigation into war crimes. That pressure will likely now increase. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera.